Hi, this is Dr. A. Sangeeta, Assistant Professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, Jag Okim and Jamal Mahmoud College, Tichirapad. Now I am going to talk about the cereals. This is the introduction part of the cereals. India has reached to a level of self-sufficiency in the production of cereals, pulses and oil seeds after the green revolution. The cereals are the plants which yield edible grains and include rice, wheat, corn, barley and oats. The cereal grains are the fruit of plants belonging to the grass, grass family gramine. The cereal grains provide the world with majority of its food calories and about half of its protein. They are also good source of micronutrients such as calcium, iron and vitamins of B group. And cereals are a staple food and are consumed in large quantity in many ways. It is in the form of modified form like flour, bran and numerous uh, additional ingredients used in the manufacture of other products. The various cereals are wheat, rice, maize, oats, rye and barley. This is the proximate composition of the cereal grains. Proximate composition means moisture, carbohydrate, protein, fat, fiber, ash and the calorific value of the cereal grains called as proximate composition. So in this, if you see, the protein content is more in the sorghum and barley when compared to rice. The same way, the fiber content is more in oats and barley when compared to other grains. Likewise, the calorific value of the corn is 352 kilocalorie per 100 gram and the wheat contains 340 kilocalorie per 100 gram. This is the structure of cereal grain. It consists of three main parts. The first one is the bran layer. The bran layer constitutes about 14% and in whole grain. It contains fiber, vitamin B, calcium, iron. The endosperm, it constitutes about 84%. This contains starch, protein and vitamin B. Next one is germ part. It consists 2% in cereal grain. It contains protein, fat, vitamin B and E. The dietetic value. It is important energy food because of the starch. The whole grain is good for fiber. The whole grain is good source vitamin B, calcium, iron. And it contains the unsaturated fatty acids. So it gives low cholesterol to our diet. It is a cheap and versatile for celiac patients. We have to avoid we have to avoid wheats, oats, barley, rye because of the gluten. The phytates, which is the anti-nutritional present in the cereals, which inhibit the calcium and iron absorption. The polished rice lacks of vitamin B. The maize lacks tryptophan, so deficiency diseases can occur where they are the staple food. The effects of heat on cereals. When you apply the heat on the cereals, some of the modifications, some of the changes will occur. That is, the first one is starch grains swell, burst and absorb the liquid. The next one is application of dry heat. The grains swell, burst and absorb the fat. Next one is cellulose gets soft and the starch becomes digestible. The protein gets coagulate. And uh, then two process like uh, the namely dextrinization and caramelization causes surface browning on bread and cakes loss of some vitamin b when you go for when you buying these cereal grains and storing the cereal grains, some of the points we have to consider while buying it should be in a sealed package and date of stamp should be observed and regarding storing aspect it should be sealed in storage container when opened next one is cool it has to be kept in a cool or dry dark places Use by best before date. The whole grains go up faster because of the fat present in it. And this shows the types of fat, uh, types of wheat. Actually, the wheat is in the two form. One is a spring wheat, another one is winter wheat. The spring wheat is sown in March, harvested in September. The winter wheat sown in autumn, harvested late summer. It is grown in a, that is spring wheat, grown in climates with cold winter, hard summer. Here, the grown in temperature, climates. Spring wheat is a fast growing one and winter wheat slow growing one. Spring wheat contain high gluten whereas winter wheat contain low gluten.
Yes, this is a flour milling process. There's very steps involved in the flour milling. First one is cleaning or uh, that is destoning. Cleaning or destoning here. Uh, the stone and some of the impurities gets removed and it should be sieved. Next one is conditioning. Conditioning is nothing but you are improving the moisture content of the food grains, that is cereals, to loosen the outer husk of the cereals. This should be uh, this conditioning will be very useful while dehusking the cereal grains. Next one is blending. Next and uh, next one is break rolling. In this break rolling, just uh, two rollers that are uh, cereals passed into the pass in between the two rollers and it gets mashed and it come into the whole meal flour next one is sifting and purifying here the bran and germ separated from the rough endosperm the end product is called as semolina next one is particle reduction here rough endosperm ground into powder next one is the air classifying to lighten the flour next one is addition of additives next step so we can add the calcium vitamin b bleach or some of the improvers and after that end us the finished good is packaging going to pack next one is types of flour the various type of flour depends upon the milling process and it shows the extraction rate of the flour also the stone ground it is a traditional method you will get the 100 percent recovery of the cereal grains the ground it is uh, the description or uses the ground between two stones next one is whole grain 100 percent recovery you will get it None of the grain gets removed. Next one is wheaten or brown. 85% of the grains, you will get it. Lot of bran is removed here. Then is white, plain or cream color uh, flour. 75% we have, it is recovery. And all bran and germ removed in this process. Likewise, self-rising, strong flour, gluten-free flour like that. Different uh, type of flour we can extract by different milling process then effect of processing whole grain flour has more protein than white white has no fiber white flour has no fat therefore you can keep the flour for a longer period the white flour is fortified with calcium and vitamin b the more processing the softer the texture bleaching agents are used to whiten the color Elasticity of the gluten is increased by adding improvers. White flour rises better than whole grain. These are the various cereal products available in the market. Wheat products like flour, semolina, pasta and other breakfast cereals. And rice related products are ground rice, rice flour, rice broken, rice wine, rice cakes and rice krispies and rice paper. Next one is maize related product. Corn on cob, sweet corn, maize meal, corn flour, corn oil, popcorn, corn flakes. Next one is oats, oatmeal, pinhead oats, rolled oats for porridge and muesli. Then oatmeal biscuits. Then dry, rye bread and crisp bread. The, in the barley products are pearl barley and pearl barley water. Next is pasta. It is a rough endosperm of durum wheat, water, salt and oil. You have to mix together and you can extrude the product in a different shapes. These are the breakfast, various breakfast cereals. Uh, like wide variety made from different grains, flakes, shredded, puffed, other ingredients added, dry fruit, honey, nuts, cocoa, sugar, salt. Often fortified with vitamins and minerals. Nutritive value depends on ingredients and the milk used. Porridge, muesli, high brand cereals are good for our health. And uh, regarding rice, rice contains less protein, fat and minerals than the other cereals usually used with bran removed. That is polished rice we are using, no? That is, it is available in the many varieties like short grain, medium grain, long grain, brown grain like that. That is according to the size of the uh, cereals, it is in the different uh, types. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, students.